the second principle of an encounter with God is not only I have right information which comes from the Word of God but I have also proper inspiration proper inspiration speaks of the wise men who had a star and they le were led by this star the star speaks of God elevating things people ministries miracles in our life for us to like bring confirmation inspiration and encouragement in our pursuit of the Holy Spirit if you will watch your life carefully you will find out pretty much most of the encounters with God that you had were sparked by something you've read some sermon that you have listened a book that maybe you went through a conference that you went through and they planted a small seed of saying I want that I'm hungry for that uh, books and Holy Spirit many times conferences like the things that even happen here a man of God came prophesied a man of God came and then God moved and something within you connected and say God I want that I am hungry for that see God brings ministries miracles and men of God in our life and many of you you have them on your phone you have them on your YouTube channel you you listen to them or watch them on TV you have some of their books and it's the star elevated so high sometimes we get discouraged by those stars because we look we're like man there is no ladder, ladder on this earth that can get me get me there and you listen to that you're like man how can I get there but I want to correct that notion to say that our goal is not to get there our goal is to get there our goal is not to grab a ladder to climb to see the star our goal is to let it lead us into an encounter that made them a star to bring a change in our own life and ruin us for normal and set us up to be people that God called us to be. God is not looking for another Billy Graham. God is not wanting to see another Benny Hinn. He doesn't want another Sean Bolt, Todd White. He wants you and he wants me and you can become the next if you have an encounter with God. That's why they all so different. You look at some of these men, one has a hair up to this size, the other one has no hair at all. You see one person dresses this way the other person dresses differently because God is not looking to make copies of them God says when you encounter me the way they encountered me you will be different but you will be powerful you will be anointed you will be a challenge to your generation you will be walking with my power you will be walking with my anointing you will be walking in your gifts and in your callings you need an encounter you need an encounter to have an encounter with God I must have a right information meaning I have to look at the scripture not just as a manual but a map I have to have right inspiration and for those of you in here who's like I just don't need anybody except the Bible yeah unsubscribe from your Netflix as well I, I just don't listen to anybody on, on, on the thing because all of them they want my money Hulu wants your money too <laughs> yeah HBO subscription that you got what do you think they're after to bless your life? Of course not. And so, so the, the, don't, don't fool yourself. I'm not listening to any, I don't get, I don't need any extra inspiration. Yeah, because you got a lot of poison coming into your life. And so we need positive inspiration. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter 12 is that before we can run the race, meaning before we pursue God, we have to be surrounded with a cloud of witnesses. That means you got to have a right inspiration. You got to have right examples. You got to have right models sometimes. You got to be surrounded with the crowd and with the cloud. Can somebody say amen and so we, we have information we have inspiration and then but what makes wise men different from the Pharisees is they had desperation is they were willing to take the information and walk with it to an encounter instead of take the information memorize it get a degree learn in other languages and never make a move they moved they went forward they were not perfect but they moved they progressed they pursued their encounter wasn't big. Their encounter was with a baby. Like, if, I'm thinking, it would be pretty disappointing if you went to see a king and found a toddler. Like, you're looking at your gifts, you're like, you know what? I'll take him back to my kids. <laughs> Never mind. You're thinking about taking a picture, you're like, how's that gonna king? And, well, what, am I gonna bow to a baby? It, 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 this encounter did not look like the encounter that Moses had. When the mountain was full of flame and Moses came his face was shining 
and the two tablets. This encounter was not like other men who had where the fire of chariots showed up. This encounter was not such where there was voices and thunderings. This encounter was, was, was unique because it was so small. But wise men encountered someone bigger than any other man ever encountered in their life. Though it was smaller, it was bigger. And so what I want to encourage you right now is that when you begin to seek God for an encounter, you will have it. But never be disappointed if it comes in small size. If it comes in something that you, you felt the Holy Spirit and people describe it, you're like, well, my mind was, was like this, but it was real, but it was, it was like this. I just, I felt the fire of God. I felt this sense of that He is real, He is with me. I did, it didn't, it wasn't anything like super, it was, it was small. The reason why God gives you a small encounter because He doesn't want it to be the only one. He wants it to be the first one. He hopes to stir up an appetite that you come for more. Unfortunately, this is where us and wise men have to part ways right now because wise men got one small encounter. They gave all they had. They worshiped Jesus. They were instructed by a dream and they never came back for another one. They never came back to visit Jesus when he was 12. They never came back to visit Jesus when he was 30 and the, like a dove came upon him. They never came back to visit him at 31 when he walked on water and when he multiplied bread. They never came to visit him at 33 when the veil was torn apart and the dead man became alive and Jesus rose from the dead. They only had one encounter. But I believe as hungry generation, if we have an encounter with God, it will change us. But if we have encounters with God, it will change our world. And I'm ready for an encounters with God. I want to go from glory to glory. What about you? I want this year not to be a year where you only remember what God did at 16. Where you only remember what, what God did at 24. Or what God did a few years ago when you got baptized in water or baptized in the Holy Spirit. I want 2019 to be your best year with God. Best year with Holy Spirit. Your best prayer life to be in 2019. Your best fasting life to be in 2019. Your best giving to be in 2019. Your best year with God to be in 2019. Can somebody say amen? I want you to rise to your feet. Let this year be the best year in your encounter with the Holy Spirit. You know what Jesus called Pharisees? People who didn't have curiosity about him when he was young became the critics of him when he became mature. If you have no curiosity for the Holy Spirit, in a matter of five, six years, you'll be the biggest critic of what he's gonna do. It's the curious that stay sane. It's the curious. People who are fascinated, not familiar. People who are not just happy that they can explain it, but they're not content until they can experience it. People who don't just say, wave it and say, this is written, but say also this is written and I see how, I know how it works in my life. I want us to be those people. In this coming year, when Jesus rebuked the Pharisees when he was on this earth, he called them tombs. See tombs, tombs are places where life used to be. It's the places that have people that used to have life. I don't want us to be tombs in 2019. We remember good old days. We remember the miracles of the past. We remember God's experiences with the past. I want us in 2019 to be temples. We don't hold, we don't hide that which used to be alive. We host someone who is alive. The Holy Spirit. Dear Holy Spirit, we want an encounter with you.